Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Crazy Patrick. Welcome back to the Life and Times of Crazy Patrick. I'm here at Leesburg State Park, uh, 25 miles north of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Hey, uh, I had to take a bag of trash up here to the dumpster. You know, I like to keep a clean campsite, so I'm going up there and then I, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the facility so you can take a look at that and uh, see what you think. Uh, they have great restroom facilities, showers. Uh, right now, it's probably over 100 degrees out here right now. So I'm going to make this video pretty short. Uh, I, I really enjoyed myself up here. Uh, I moved my Class C RV up here last Sunday. And uh, I... This is uh, now Saturday, uh, the next Saturday, so uh, I've been up here, I'm leaving tomorrow, I've been up here for seven days, and it cost me $40 uh, with my senior park pass to hook up to water and electric, so I think it's a great deal. I've really enjoyed being here. I picked my wife up, she works from home. And she doesn't like to nap as much as I do, but uh, I picked her up last, last yesterday evening, and she came up and spent last night. She's in the RV. It's nice and cool in there with <laughs> with, uh, with uh, air conditioner running, so she's taking herself a little nap. So I decided I'd come over here and kind of show off the facilities and show off some of the trails maybe. Uh, they have some great trails, walking trails here that are pretty interesting. So I may take you on one of those and uh, we'll see how it goes here. And if I don't get too overheated, because like I say, it is uh, at least 100 degrees, but there's a nice breeze blowing right now. So I'm gonna take you in the facilities. We're almost here kind of look around here a little bit so you can see see the area it's really a nice really really nice place uh, over here there's a park for the kids and it's just loaded with cotton rabbits and meat me we're not really scared of people got some other people here that been camping tent camping and I imagine they're pretty hot and wore out I think they've been to the river. Probably had some fun there. I went and did a little fishing this morning and didn't have any luck. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing a little YouTube video here. Don't mind if I got you on camera, right? <laughs> you guys been to the river? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you with a church group up here? Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, well, enjoy yourself. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to take you in here in the men's room. This is the men's room here. Three sinks. They keep it absolutely spotless. It, New Mexico State Parks are great for this. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to stay. Uh, if, I, if I could, uh, if I didn't have to work, I could just travel from about three or four state parks that are right here by my house uh, within an hour. And I could stay 14 days at each state park. And uh, I could move on to the next one for seven days and go back to the one, whichever one I like the best and stay another 14 days. And uh, at $4 a night, that's pretty cheap rent. Well, those are the restroom facilities, folks. So now I'm going to walk you over here. One of the trails starts right over here. Take you on a little tour on one of the trails. Too hot for the cottontail to be out right now. I might come back over here with for you this evening and and uh, bring you back over here and <laughs> let you see the cottontail. They're so cute. But look at all the great playground equipment they have for the kids and keep them entertained. Uh, it's just too bad that, that uh, it's just so hot. Uh, 
this is the Buffalo Trail, right here, Buffalo Soldier Trail. And they ask you to please stay on the trail. Bring plenty of water. It is really hot, so I'm not going to go very far here. But uh, these are how the trails are lined out. Um, they're even set up so if you wanted to come out here, if it wasn't so hot, you could come out here and have a barbecue. You have a barbecue grill here. Got some tables. You can have a picnic. Uh, this trail goes quite a ways back down here. Uh, this is kind of kind of entertaining and uh, kind of cool over here. Uh, I don't know if they ever burn it, but uh, kind of give you an idea how people used to live here. This is an oven that uh, I don't know when it was built. Uh, you can tell they have used it, but uh, they used to bake bread, everything in there. The Indians, the Apache Indians lived in this, in this part of the country and uh, have a fire pit here, pretty cool. But the Apache Indians lived here and uh, it's amazing, you know, they, they could live in this desert and survive. You wouldn't think there's a lot of food out here, but there really is, you know, there's snakes, there's rabbits, there's, uh, there's uh, mesquite that, that has uh, these bean pods on there, and they would uh, grind those mesquite beans up into kind of a flour, and uh, they make bread out of that. Uh, they also make a, made a drink out of it that was supposed to be really good. The mesquite beans are real sweet. They have a, a real sweet uh, sugar content, so they used those for that. This trail goes quite a ways. I've actually cut across before. You kind of have to be careful of snakes out here. You could run across the rattlesnake. At night, there are scorpions. Uh, I have a black light that I've uh, taken out at night, a little, little flashlight with a black light on it, and it, you can see the scorpions, they, they light up uh, pure white, and uh, I found a couple the other night, kind of played with them a little bit. You have to be careful so you don't get stung, it's not a big deal. But this is a Buffalo Soldier Trail. But you can walk all around here. There's a Mogollon Trail that would take you right down. Uh, you can go down all the way and cross, cross a bridge and, and get down to the day use area down by the river and go fishing if you want to walk that far. I'm kind of I'm lazy that way. <laughs> you know, I don't walk that far. Most of the signs they have out here on this trail, are, you're not going to be able to read them. I don't, they're, they're so faded out. They need to redo these signs. It's a, it's a shame that they haven't already, but uh, they might need some funding or something. But it tells you, you know, about the desert life. Uh, it tells you about the history of the area and uh, people that lived here. So, I'm gonna keep going this way. Uh, I think I'll end this video now. I think you've seen enough of this trail, but there's there's so many trails around here different names and uh, they're all they're all marked out like this and lined so you, you can definitely see the trail and uh, I just wanted to give you a little sh little shot of the park here just at kind of the surroundings you can see over there that's the cactus loop that I'm staying on over here you can see the they all have a, uh, a covered area and uh, have picnic tables grills water and electric and again, like I say, with my with my senior park pass, it's only four dollars a night for water and electric. So uh, without the senior park pass, uh, uh, seven days would have cost me ninety-eight dollars. With the park pass, it was forty. So you really can't beat that. Um, I'm going to do a little. I'm going to make some uh, beef fajitas this evening, and I might give you might might get you in on that. And let me, I'll show you how I make my beef fajitas. And I'll show you my little tricks and secrets to that. 
but I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. So again, I'm going to say uh, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.